vehicles with green number plates are increasingly turning heads at traffic signals. They are evoking curiosity as people often inquire about the cost and mileage from the owners. The government too wants the shift to fulfill its green pledge. By 2030, it wants to electrify 80% of two-wheelers and 30% of private cars. And for that, it has to make them affordable. So in 2015, it rolled out an ambitious subsidy scheme. It was called the Faster Adoption and Manufacturing of Electric Vehicles or FAME scheme. The plan was to subsidize production costs for EV makers so that they sell affordable vehicles. Its second phase kick-started in 2019. With a total outlay of 10,000 crore rupees, the second phase of FAME scheme was initially planned for three years. But now, it has been extended till 31st March 2024. Under FAME 2, overall EV sales shot up by 153% during FY23, and over 10 lakh EVs were sold in 2022. The scheme had helped pull down the prices of electric two-wheelers by about 35%. So when things were looking up for the scheme and for the sector, allegations of irregularities have surfaced. Government received complaints about misappropriation of subsidies under the FAME 2 by some electric vehicle manufacturers. And after a probe, it recently demanded subsidiary amount of 249 crore from Okinawa Autotech and Hero Electric for violations of phased manufacturing program guidelines. To claim FAME2 subsidies, 50% of the components in the EVs should be domestically manufactured and resourced. And the companies are also supposed to abide by the price cap set by the government. For electric two-wheelers, it is 1.5 lakhs. For three-wheelers, it is 5 lakhs and Rs 15 lakhs for four-wheelers. But some EV makers allegedly tried to circumvent rules. Probe report said that Okinawa Autotech and Hero Electric vehicles were found to be non-compliant with the regulations through the rampant use of imported parts in place of local parts. But in its reply, Hero Electric reportedly said that its bikes fully comply with the CMVR and FAME certificates. On the other hand, the Association of Companies Making Electric Two-Wheelers, Society of Manufacturers of Electric Vehicles, has claimed that they did not get subsidies for almost half of the 1 million EVs they sold between 2019 to March 2023. As of February 28 of 2023, only 2,835 crore rupees out of the allocated 10,000 crore rupees was spent under the FAME 2. In a petition to the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Industry, Energy and Estimate, Society of Manufacturers have pointed out that the Department of Heavy Industries have done an accounting error and the department showed that they are close to the target by including the EVs that were not funded under the scheme. The Society of Manufacturers of Electric Vehicles said that over the past 15 months, subsidies worth 1400 crore had been distributed to the customers out of their own pocket. So, what is behind the standoff and how can it be resolved? There has been a kind of a, uh, analysis done by ARAI, right? The uh, government has again issued Shoko's notice to the companies uh, that are uh, there. And the entire uh, subsidy for uh, you know, all of them has been held up. So it's not reflected in the utilization of the scheme. And therefore, uh, you would see that, uh, you know, uh, there is a perception that the scheme has not been utilized. Uh, however, should the ministry uh, quickly conclude this issue and disperse the subsidy, then you will see significant uh, uh, kind of uh, utilization of the funds. So, what is the way forward? There is a way to resolve this issue. Uh, for most of the companies, the amount of the contested claim is only a portion of the amount that is due to them. So, the release of the balance claim uh, could be done must also take into consideration that during this period, there was uh, supply chain disruptions, there was the COVID uh, challenge. So there has to be a kind of uh, uh, sympathetic uh, consideration of uh, the facts. The basic aim, you know, as I said earlier, you know, have been achieved. So, but, uh, you know, obviously we may not be able to achieve it fully. So like, for example, in four wheelers, you know, if you see the set target, and, uh, uh, you know, uh, and if you see how many vehicles have actually been, um, uh, you know, uh, delivered, uh, you know, is, is way too less. In two-wheelers still, I will say things have gone good. In buses, yes. 
uh, you know, at least we are uh, almost, we have crossed the half of the target. But in four wheelers, you know, we, we are way behind the target. But I think these are the learnings which government really needs to see. And uh, maybe, you know, in next uh, schemes, we will see all these things being uh, addressed. China has spent close to $60 billion in the last few years to facilitate the EV ecosystem. India too has been picking up pace. The Department of Heavy Industries is in talks with the EV manufacturers to iron out the differences and ensure the compliance of FAME rules. The country and the industry cannot afford to be left behind as the world shifts towards a greener future. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.